Let me tell you why the feeling the need to have power over somebody is just wrong altogether. For some people, this shit is just going to go over their heads, and for some, they'll just get it. But either way, it's like you can't stand alone. You have a need and a desire to have someone need you. Maybe because you feel neglected at some point in your life. But the point is, why it's wrong is because you're operating off of the fact that someone is dependent upon you. Now, granted, there is always going to be some needy people in this world, right? But, like, when the story or the narrative don't play out the way that you desire, like when I say you, I mean a person who seeks control over others. When the narrative don't play out the way that you want it to play out, then I don't know, you create more chaos. I don't know. Are you strong enough to feed off of your own light? Can you need yourself? Can you need yourself enough to achieve a goal to make better for yourself without the need to control something or somebody? Power is not about controlling something outside of yourself power is having a function and the capability of doing or achieving something and to me off your own blood sweat and tears now granted Let's just say building a structure or something, you need all hands on deck because you got, I mean, it can be done by yourself, but you'll need other hands on deck. But like, some people just want shortcuts. They just want, you, 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 you keep on like, all I'm saying is, eventually, you will link back up with your energy. Whatever it is that you put out, like whatever it was that built you up, it can tear you down as well. It can. It can come back to hunt you. However you want to look at it. But what I'm trying to encourage people to do is to feed off their own energy. Lose the desire to want to control something or somebody. And a lot of times when you do that, it really shows fear. Because the moment that something happened that is outside of your control or it don't happen the way that you intended for it to happen, a lot of people lose their shit, whether it's on the inside or the outside, whether it's displayed for the public to see or just inside your own head. Like that lady said, everybody paid. Everybody working, getting paid, you know? So, yeah, that shit is wrong to to want to have to control others. You want to control other people because you're scared. you scared of anything that you can't control. When really all you need to do is challenge yourself, not others, but yourself, to overcome your fear by studying your fear by immersing yourself in it to see what it is and what it ain't. Research. Do some, But stop. It's like people realize like this is what irks me. It's when people realize that the effects, the detrimental
social mental effect of their action and they see it and they hear it and they still continue to do it. Like that shit ain't gonna catch up with you, bro. Or sis. You know what I'm saying? Lose the power to control anything outside of yourself. Trying to make something do what you want. Trying to manipulate somebody's willpower for your own benefit. And then try to justify your actions or pretend they never happened. <laughs> Somebody need this word. Food for thought, peace.